what's up guys how are you doing i hope you're very very fine so welcome to today's tutorial uh, my name is jesse and today i'm going to show you how you can compute ndvi on landsat 8 using quantum gis so this is one of my first story on qgis and more and more are still coming so subscribe to this channel and also like our videos for more and more interesting stuff yeah so what are the requirements for this tutorial today you must have lands at 80 imagery you also need to have qgis software and then you need to have some basic understanding of ndvi so what is ndvi NDVI is just defined as the normalized density vegetation index, which is just an indicator of vegetation in an area. So using that index, we can be able to calculate the amount of vegetation in a given area using this formula. So NDVI is the reflectance in the near infrared minus the reflectance in the red over the reflectance in the near infrared plus the reflectance in the red. Yeah. So today I'm going to show you how you can compute NDVI on Landsat 8 using quantum GIS. So with that said, let us dive into the tutorial. So as you can see, this is my quantum GIS. What I'm going to first to do is to create a new project. I'll create a new project. And then I'll save it as NDVI. NDVI ndvi yeah so the next thing i'm going to do is to import the two bands of landsat 8 images that is band 4 and band 5 band 4 is the red and then band 5 is the near infrared band and then so i'll just come here layer add layer add raster layer and then i'll navigate to where i saved my yes they are here and then as you can see i'm going to to open band four and band five that is it and then i'll add them in my software so yeah so this is band four and then this is band five just to be sure let me try to rename them i'm going to rename each one of them so I come to source and then I say band 4. Okay. And then I also rename this. I rename this to band 5. I hope that is fine. So you also save. So after doing this, I'm going to open. I'm going to come here and then I click raster. And then I open raster calculator. When I open the raster calculator, I'll, this is where I'm going to input my formula. So I'll open brackets and then say band 5, which is the near infrared, minus band 4, which is the red band. Then I close brackets. Then over open brackets, band 5, then plus band 4. And then also close brackets and after i'll come here and i'll choose where i'm going to save my layer i'll give it a name as n dvi yeah then i say okay so you can change the the extension from here what you want you, you how you want your file to be saved but me i want my file to be saved as geotiff as geotiff so let me look for geotiff here yeah geotiff is here so you can also change the coordinate system of the output from here if you want but me i'll use the default one and then after that you will see here a sign that says expression is valid so just in case we had forgotten to close this you will see the an expression invalid what error but since our expression is now valid we are we are free to run our what to run this raster calculator function so let me run this function i'll press okay 
Oh, one thing I've also talked about, in case you want to add this into the project as soon as it has been processed, you tick this. If you don't want, you untick it. Yeah, so let me run this. Then depending on your computer speed, yeah, the NDVI will be calculated. And actually, my NDVI has been calculated. As you can see, this is my NDVI. But it doesn't make sense here. So I can try to, to, to change how it looks like. I can try to improve on this visualization. I, I come to properties. Then I come to symbology. And I select single band pseudo color. And then let me try. Let me have a look at this color ramp. Then I say apply. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, let me use another color ramp. So, yeah, this is a color ramp, but it has not yet made sense. But then I want to make sense from this NDVI image. So, what am I going to do? Since I have my study area, I'm going to import a shape file of that study area and then I clip out this the NDVI of my study area. So to do that, I'll come here and I say layer, add layer, add vector layer, then I look for that layer. Where is it? Let me look for that layer. It's Puikwe. Then S reshape file. I open and then I add. So I'm going to extract out the NDVI of this area. To do that, I come here to raster, then I say extraction, then clip by mask layer. And when I click that, my input layer is going to be this NDVI, then I'm going to clip it using this shape file, then I say run. So before I run, you can choose to, 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 to save it virtually or you can choose it to save it in, in what? In a folder. So you can you can click here you want to, if you want to save it in, in a file or you can you, you can just save it virtually. So you run. So it will take some time and it will give you an output. So I'll zoom to layer. Yeah, this is my NDVI. It doesn't make sense, but let me try to interpret it to you. Our values are ranging from negative 0 0.07 to 0 0.54. As you can see where we have black, that is a lake. And then that means we can't have NDVI values on water. They are very low. They are very low and they don't make sense. So we are going to try to start improving on our visualization to make it more and more understandable to someone unlike the way it is right now. So what I do, I come to properties and then I come to single band pseudo color. So once I come there, I look for greens, then I'll apply. As you see, our values have changed. But since I've told you this is water, it doesn't make sense to have an NDVI value of water. So what I'm, I'm going to do is that I'm going to give it the default color of water, which is blue. So to do that, I come here and then I select this color. Then I use blue. I apply. So yes. So as you see this image, where we have the blue, we have our water. So, but then where you see the very, very, the dark, dark green, that's where we have thick vegetation. Actually, this is Mabira forest. I don't know whether you have heard about Mabira in Uganda, but it is the biggest and thickest vegetation in Uganda. So this is the NDVI I've been telling you about. If you didn't know how to calculate it, so what is left from here is just making a map and then making analysis and then conclusions from this. Yeah, so allow me stop here for today. I'll continue from there next time.
don't forget to subscribe to this channel and then don't forget to invite a friend to our channel don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to share that video thank you